Hey guys, it's Will. Welcome back to Vinyl Appreciation Society. Hey guys, it's Will. We're here with an unboxing, a fancy studio unboxing. This is the first time I've ever done this. This was Logan's idea to start doing fancy studio unboxings, and I'm way into it. So I have a record here. I'm going to bust it open. Um, and so this band, just to give you a piece of trivia while I'm opening this, already put out one of my favorite records of this year. It's actually a collaborative album. It's them and another artist, and it came out, I think, in February. And we did an unboxing of that, too. Yes! So if you've been watching, or if you know what came out in February in terms of collaborative albums, you'll already know what this is. Um, my shirt doesn't betray much, though, because it's a very different genre from what we have in this box. Here we go. Da -da -da -da, na -na 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 -na. Is that the Superman song? Does anybody know? What is that? Every time I do an unboxing, that's the song I sing. I think it's the theme song from the like, Christopher Reeve Superman movies, but I don't actually remember. Um, okay, here we go. This feels heavy. Is there anything else in here? No, I think that's it. All right, cool. So what we have here is Love and Shadow. This is the new record from Sumac, and as you can see on the back here, this is the limited color edition. And something that's really fun about this is that this record comes out on September 21st of 2018, and it is now September 9th. And I actually got this like maybe four days ago, and I just haven't had a chance to shoot this video yet. So this came super early, which is really exciting. Thank you to Thrill Jockey Records for sending these out early. I'm really excited about this album. If you don't know, Sumac is a power trio that consists of Aaron Turner, who is in Isis, and Old Man Gloom, and uh, Nikki Asishin is the drummer, who is probably most well known outside of Sumac for having been in a band called Baptists. And then um, the bass player's name is Brian Cook, and he was in Botch, and is also in Russian Circles. Wow, look at that! So this is a this is like a slipcover kind of thing. And then we have this, and all the lyrics are on the back here. And I'll, I'm going to put these up on. We have uh, Logan brought in his vinyl stands, so I'm going to put these up on the stands, the records, and 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 kind of go through the. The track listing real quick this is the um i think this is like clear pink with black smoke maybe is the name of this variant um and uh, i'll tell you a funny story about about, about some variant vinyl hysteria that happened with this album in just a second so let me just throw this back in here it's a double lp but as you can see it's same color. Um, so I'm going to put these up on the stands, and then we'll come back, and we'll talk about a few things, and then we'll be done. So here we are with the limited first edition variant of Sumac's new record, Love in Shadow. It's pink and black and smoky and clear. So the story that I was mentioning earlier... Uh, was when so when this album first went up for pre-order it was listed i think as like pink in black or something like that and then at some point it was like black with pink streaks there were like four or five different names it was the same variant but they were getting different information from the i think the manufacturing plant uh the record label was and so they were kind of changing the item description on the site uh as they were receiving this information and people started panicking and the their label actually posted like a Facebook message, private message that they had gotten from a record store that was like, can you please clarify what's going on with all these variants? Because we're worried that our customers are not going to be able to get their preferred variant and there's going to be chaos. Um, so there's only one variant and this is it. And then there's the black version. Um, but it's just funny to me that, that like a change in the item description caused mass chaos in the, the underground, uh, I guess, metal community if you'd call Sumac a metal band. So there's only four songs on this record, um, and they are The Task, Anis's Blade, Arcing Silver, and Ecstasy of Unbecoming. It was recorded by Kurt Ballou, who you may know as the guitar player for Converge. He also runs God City Studio, which is in Massachusetts, but this was recorded in Washington State and then mixed by Kurt at uh, God City, which is in Salem, Massachusetts. So it's north of Boston. And so there's each side of this, LP, or this album is only uh, one track. The longest one, I think, is 21 and a half minutes. The shortest one is around 12 minutes, and then the other two are like 15, 16 minutes long. Um, and we're actually going to do, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Logan and I are going to listen to this record and do a reaction video. 
So that'll be fun. So stay tuned for that. Um, and here you go. This is the slipcase kind of cover again. Front and back. And then this is the inside sleeve. Uh, so it's just like a, as you can see, I think it's probably the same artwork. It's just like a alternate version of it. And then the lyrics are on the back here. Um, oh, and something else interesting of note that I should just throw in here, if anyone cares about the recording process, the band was really big into publicizing the idea that they recorded this album all in one room. And if you don't know anything about the recording process, that might mean nothing to you. But typically in the era of Pro Tools, the band doesn't all just get together in a room and record the, record the whole record at once kind of live. Um, you know, Bob Dylan used to do that. Um, I know that Smashing Pumpkins, um, with their older records, like with Melancholy maybe, they would record all like in the room, but then they would scrap the guitar and vocal takes and uh, just keep the drums and then overdub everything else. So it's very rare that an album is recorded completely like live in the room. But Sumag did a record earlier this year with uh, Haino Keiji, Keiji Haino, you may also know him as, who's like a Japanese, um, kind of like avant-garde psychedelic guitarist. And he encouraged them to be really improvisational and record things in live takes, and that really fed into this record. So, again, Love and Shadow, Sumac, this is on Thrill Jockey Records, and it is out September 21st of 2018. 